after running this pump for I would say three days it's an SFX 1000 pump model uh, coming off of the sum, summer waves pool uh, it wasn't working anymore so I took it apart pretty simple just screw off the cap here this unit pops out uh, you'll have the rotor assembly inside here it's a really strong magnet uh, what I did to remove it was I took a pair of needle nose pliers put it half in half out right there uh, and then pulled out you might be able to pull it out with your bare hands I couldn't do it with my fingertips but again just using the pair of needle nose pliers sticking one uh, one half of the needle nose inside and then one half on the outside able to pinch it as one unit um, if you just pull the blade here it might separate off the magnet but here's what's inside it's a ceramic rod my rod busted uh, like I said after three days of use uh, so what I did is I went to my local home, uh, excuse me, Lowe's store right here and bought a new rod for 304. It came in a three foot length. You can see it's a three foot length here. Chopped it down to size uh, to match. And so I held it up to a measuring tape here, just a little over three and a quarter inches. So I'm going to plug that in in place of the ceramic pole because this seems to be a common defect where they're snapping in half uh, this will be much stronger more durable I did call the local pool store uh, they said the it's a brass it shouldn't have any effect on the chemistry of the water uh, but you do want to avoid anything with copper or iron in it that will affect your water um, if this does corrode or rust over time I have like I said three feet of it so I'll just chop another piece probably switch it out every summer uh, just to keep it maintained so i'm going to hook this back up and we'll see how it goes okay so i'm going to insert my rod down into the housing below and then i'll put the rotor assembly thread that through again it's a really strong magnet so it should just catch i have to line it up properly here it's not seating properly so one second Okay, so I was able to get it dro to drop down in position. Uh, there weren't any grooves or things that needed to be aligned. I just had to put it in evenly. Uh, so again, my ceramic shaft snapped in half. So now I have a new brass shaft, which should be much stronger. And now I'm just going to put it back together here. Uh, you see here, there's an O-ring here that lines right back up for the fitting. And then screw the cap back on. Just make sure to thread it properly. And that's it. It's a very simple uh, pump to take apart. Uh, pretty common failure with these uh, SFX pumps. So again, I'll just take it apart real quick just to show you. Uh, there's the retainer ring. Uh, this pops right off. You want to make sure you don't lose this piece here. It's a, a plastic or ceramic O-ring. And then uh, there's the shaft and again the uh, rotor assembly that'll come out as one unit if you pull that shaft out. Uh, this is what it was before. There's one piece, two piece. Again, you want to make sure you don't get iron or copper in your metal. And then uh, you throw it back together and put it back on. That's uh, just over a little three and a quarter inches. Um, yeah, the pump was turning on originally what had the defect had come from. It was turning on, but it wasn't really circulating the water. You could hear it. You could hear it humming like there, it was trying to go. But as I had mentioned, it was uh, the shaft was broken, so it wouldn't do anything. So now that I have it all put back together, I'm going to go hook it back up to the pool and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm outside at the pool now, as you can see here on the label. It's uh, marked as the SFX 1000. Uh, I'm not sure if you can read it right now. It looks blurry on my end, but it is identified. It's a skimmer filter here. Um, so we're just gonna thread it back up through the bottom, make sure the output aligns with the hose here. Uh, tighten it up, plug it in and give it a shot. We'll actually, we'll fill up the water canister as well so it's not pumping air. Uh, we'll make sure it all gets through. If you look on the other side here, I plugged it up. Uh, with this rubber stop that came with the pool uh, so that's convenient so my canister's empty right now 
So let me uh, put you on pause and then I'll hook it up. As you can see, there's a little notch in the pump right here. Right there. Uh, it lines up with uh, a notch down here in the bottom. It's so bright out here, I can't see my own screen. Anyways, if you can see what I'm pointing at right here, so you line that up with the pump. And then there's even directions here uh, which tell you how to tighten and un uh, unscrew or release the canister. Okay, I've got it back in. I've got the outlet facing the uh, outlet side of the pump so it can recirculate the water. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually take this off right here so we can let out any air that might be trapped in the system. I'm going to pull the plug and then I'll plug that back up just real quick. So now it's going to fill up. There goes all the air out. Now we'll hook it back up. So now you can see here, we have a full canister. Make sure there's no leaks. All right, looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. All right, as you can see, it's circulating the water. So it was a simple fix of just changing out that ceramic rod. Ah, uh, oh, darn it, I just dropped my plug. <laughs> Uh, very easy fix. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this sideways. Oh, no, actually, I'll leave it that way. But, yeah, all in order. Very easy fix. It was a $3 part. If you go on to the website of the manufacturer, they charge, I think it's uh, $30 for the whole rotor assembly. When you just need a small $3 part to fix it, easy fix. Uh, I, I did cut it with a pair of wire cutters. It cut pretty simple. Uh, so... Good luck. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and hopefully I can help you out. Uh, I just stopped it on my own here. I hope you did find this video helpful for the Summer Waves pool. Mine is a 17-footer. Uh, yeah, good luck.